Hello everybody and welcome back to Adam RPG. So uh, we have to do this talking again with him. Um, the question is, when I talk to him, um, can I close the door? Also that dog is really loud, Jesus Christ. You carefully step into the main trader's quarters. He's busy with some documents, but as you come in he looks at you for a bit before asking, what business do you have uh, with me? Uh, Fyodor Maximovich sent me to deal with you. Ringa Abramov slowly lifts his gaze to your face and straightens out his back. Deal about what? Uh, he wants to enforce the ruin paragon. It's pretty shaky as of now. Abramov takes off his glasses and starts rubbing them with a handkerchief he got out of his pocket. He thinks straight. I'd say I'd agree with a lot of what he says. The traitor suddenly smashes his fist on the table. It's so sudden you jump a bit. He can go and fuck himself for all I care. The old fool wants to enforce his will on me. The only will he needs to produce is his final will. God damn it, I'm surrounded by bastards. Why I'd... As quickly as he turned to rage moments ago, Abramov calms down and sighs, continuing to clean his glasses. Now here's a swell offer for you. Kill all Maximovich and spy as a sepal of the head of guard along with him. I will give you 1,500 for each of them. Good money that you will use wisely. What do you say? Why won't you send some of your guards? Why won't I see you instead? I don't trust a lot of people, and those who I do trust are too honest for such a job. You're a suspicious lady, but you'd like to get some cash, no? Plus, what else can you do? Tell them I tried to hire you? That's old news. They both know I want them dead. Um... Uh, I don't want to work for him. He seems... Well, I don't like him. So I dispose of the man without alerting the guard. Um, so I went strength. I couldn't do that. Uh, last time. I could jump on his head to knock him out. Or follow him like a hawk. Endurance, maybe? Success! Yes! Uh, you fall upon the scared trader and crush him with your body. He tries to escape, but you are too heavy for him. Uh, cut him up? Cut him up. You quickly get out a knife and completely plunge it into the side of Abramov, who's still squirming beneath you. The man coughs, uh, uh, coughs, uh, coughs, uh, coughs, 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 and blood starts dripping out of his mouth. The head trader is dead. Get up. Oh, I did it. I actually did it. I killed him. Oh my goodness. That looks, um, can I close the door? Oh, I can. Cool. Yeah, there's nothing shady going on in here. Oh, you just open it again. Okay. Not, nothing shady. La da 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 da. Wait, did you open it or did I open it? Oh, I think I accidentally opened it. Yeah, and there's nothing shady going on. Do 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 do. Uh, a police cap. Ooh, past ten speechcraft. What do you have on you? Uh, sunglasses. Okay. Really, that's all that's in here? That's not a lot. And some food. Is that all? Uh, oh, there's uh, just bottles. I don't really need bottles. There, I have I have a whole bunch myself. All right. Ooh, and uh, naked ladies. Well, half naked ladies. Oh my. A uh, butt. Ahem. <coughs> what? No, I would never look at that. Uh, the guard eyes you suspiciously. <laughs> what was the ruckus back there? Answer me now. Um, I have to give him some bad news. He's spazzing out and smashing his furniture. Uh, I, can't, I could sign away, how about some of your money? Uh, I had to give him some bad news, so he started spazzing out and smashing his furniture. Success! Uh, Lonya got so mad, huh? Yeah, he's like that sometimes. I don't even want to know what kind of bad news you had. Go with Christ. Thank you! I will close the door behind me, because I'm such a polite person. Such a polite person. Such a polite person. I can also English, and I will also save. <laughs> Alright, so we got one of them down. Sweet. Hello, can I talk to you? You better talk to Mum Bed. There's Mum Bed. Go talk. To oh, you. Hi. On a wide bed, there lies a large, hefty man of middle age. His column-like legs are crossed. This modern-day barbarian sighs while looking at his female servants on around, doing various chores. When he sees you, his large brows come together for a moment. After which, he smiles widely, showing you two rows of golden teeth. Ah ha ha! Look at that tough gal who came to visit. What do you want with me? Uh, just checking this room out. There were no guards outside, so. I have no guard. Is that really a reason to come to my place without warning? I'm not mad. What do you want? Who are you? Maybe I can help with something. You? Haha, no little girl. Good old Mambetov ha uh, has everything under control. And what's not under my control? Well, you can't know about that, can you? Aha, uh -huh. anything else? Or we'll just continue standing here like Lord's, Lord's wife. Just a few questions. Uh, ask a question somewhere else. Uh, I won't keep you any more longer. Okay. Well, you have questions. Well, 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 well. 
That's fine. I don't need to deal with you. Oh, hello. Who are you? You see a young man. His ga he is gazing upon into up into the ceiling as if contemplating, some uh, contemplating something. His thought process is almost un uninterrupted. During the brief interruptions, the man leans down over his sketchpad and adds a few lines to his unusual drawing. Having noticed you, he gives you a friendly smile and nods. Oh, such a shame. I follow you painting. Um, Amazon's resting. You'd have been a perfect model, just the type. How can I help? Uh, from what I can tell, you're an artist. The man placed his chewed up pencil behind his ear and innocently shrugs his shoulders. Uh, I also thought that we have died out after the great upsets, but no, there are still artists in this world. Some of them are even capable of making a living. Take me, for example. I am waiting for an order from a large publishing house. Maybe they'll need in illustrations. Um, and if they do, I think I'll be able to help you out as well. But for now, let's change the sub subject. Mm? Sure, no problem. Uh, do you need any help? No, not right now. I'm still waiting for good orders. I understand. Let's change the topic. Answer some questions. Who are you? My name is uh, Turomir. I'm a traveling artist. Nice to meet you. Are you local here? You know, I've won so many pairs of boots flat, uh, boots flat throughout my life that I don't even remember where I put the first pair, pair on. I was a little boy, but my parents have decided that living on the road is a great plan. Ah, what are you doing here? My work is commissioned by the local bourgeoisie and private customers. Sometimes I draw tattoos. The local here prefer prison star tattoos. Not the best job, I tell you that, but it pays well. Mm, care to share some rumors? And all the while people like me are trying to support the fading spark of the high arts, the mutants in the circus not far away from here put in horrible vulgar shows. Imagine a petty woman speaking out of her nether regions. Uh, or a ship brothel where you can solic uh, solicit services from a decadent bisexual serving time in the sex army. Oh, goodness. All right. Uh, that's, um... Yeah, we've probably not been to that, uh, that circus. We would never go there and help them. No. What's oh, lots of food. Sweet, I like that. Um, we would never help that circus. Clearly, we would never. Is that? Uh, oh no, it's a fridge. I, I thought for a second it was a safe, but that's a fridge, and it has alcohol in it, and I like alcohol. Can we go this way? Are we encumbered? We are encumbered. Of course we are. Oh, it's locked once again. You failed to break the lock. You locked it. Uh, you 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 locked it. You unlocked it. That's the word. Unlock. Oh, there's water here. I see. Okay. Oh, there's a skeleton. Oh my, hello. Hello there, skeleton. How are you doing today? A knife and some armor piercing rounds. Nice. Anything else over here? No. Can I open you? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. Time to turn around. Turn around and leave this place. Because what the ghost is still fighting? Um, so where was the way... Out. Okay, here's the, the trader dude. Okay, we're gonna talk to him. I'm gonna talk to him and see if we can sell some stuff. Uh, wait, actually, no, we did tell, did, we did talk to you. Stop. Um, uh, first minute you spoke of mercenary world. Uh, okay, you don't have anything. You've got some weed and some rubles. Not a lot of rubles, but you've got a few rubles. Let's see if I've got anything that I might be able to sell you. I don't think I have anything really. I can sell you that. That, that's already too much. So I'm not going to sell you that. Ooh. Ooh, you can take a cup <laughs> for eight. Um, that's it. That's it. I'm going to gonna sell you that much. Done. <laughs> but hey, it, it's, it's you know, it's, it's stuff that's out of my pocket. So I like it. <laughs> Even if it's just for eight rubles. And then you there. We really need a, like decide what we're gonna do with all the stuff because we have a lot of stuff that we really don't need so we'll just need to get rid of it how encumbered are we right now Ooh, 116 yeah that's quite a lot we need to get rid of a whole bunch of stuff come on where are we there we are do 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 i mean at least we're not stuck in place at the moment <laughs> at least we're moving uh even if it's very very slowly I mean, we, to be fair, we do look rather cool with our hats and our, you know, armor and stuff like that. We've got even like the old specky bits on the shoulder. There we go. Barter with me. You only have 13 rubles. We've got some Kasparamid. Uh, and you still have this. The pharmaceutical thingy. Could just buy one of those. So let's see what uh, am I going to sell you. What do I have that is so ridiculously heavy. I'm still carrying around the tire bits. I don't know what I need them for and I don't know if I need them for anything at all. But I'd rather have them than not have them. Okay, there we go. Take two teeth. Um, 
That's still not the heavy stuff though. Where, where what is the heavy stuff? Uh, the port wine is really okay. You can have the port wine. The port wine was really, really heavy. Makes sense, I suppose, because they're glass bottles and stuff like that, so it does add up. You can have the police cap, knife, this cap, that one, and that one. Alright, that's 888. Wait. Why are the. Okay, the sun. Okay, the sunglasses are apparently really, really, really expensive. Interesting. Alright, if I take one of these, you're up to 900 in that. Uh, you can take these because I don't really need them. Uh, the cans, and then we're almost there. If I take the money away, you're at 976. Okay, just a teeny tiny bit. Let's see what can I sell that I don't need. I've got herbal mix. One herbal mix is that. That's fine, and I'll give you two two rubles and then I am no longer encumbered sweet alright and then we'll go up gotta tell him of our uh, success in killing uh, Abramov there we go that's the name so we've gone, gotten you and then the other one later where were you where even were you oh you were in here right this house okay why are you still why are we still encumbered? Why are we... I traded with you. Did I not trade properly with you? What? I thought we traded. Did that not actually happen? Did I Did I accidentally... I must have accidentally clicked the wrong button there. Whoopsie, sorry about that. <laughs> we'll just very slowly make our way back. I thought we had. Huh. Very strange. I thought I had indeed done that, but apparently I hadn't. Uh, all right, port wine, that, 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 all of these, that one, that one, that one, the ciggies. What else did I give you? Oh, I think two teeth, maybe? Uh, two teeth, 967. Oh, I think I just hit the close button instead of the trade button, didn't I? That what I did. Did I not hit this? There we go. And then, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I just clicked the wrong button. <laughs> GG me. Yeah, I maybe not be quite that awake just yet. So, my bad. That is definitely, definitely and diddy doodly my bad. Whoopsie. But we should be able to get here faster now. Yeah, there we go. We're actually running. Yay. Ugh, I wish I, I'm just wondering if we can get a stash somewhere like forever and ever Because I know you can put stuff in can in some containers, but some stuff respawns and stuff Yeah, it's a bit really I uh, can answer some questions. Oh Okay, I can't tell him that I did that interesting interesting um, Okay, so I got to talk to the trader person. Let's talk to you again and see if I can Get rid of some more inventory weight. Hello, Richard. You have six rubles. That's it. Six rubles. Yeah, I don't think so. Um, some questions. How do you like it? Nah, okay. I still don't know who I can get as a companion in this. Oh, boy. I really could do with, with one. Okay. How's the service go uh, going? Good. We shoot the trespassers in accordance with the regulations. Why we let them... <coughs> Decent citizens who've bought ticket into the tent city. Can I ask you something? Um, I come in arms off talking. All right, good luck. Good luck with your service then. Um, hello, mustached guard. You have 30. Um, hmm. You might be able to get rid of a little bit of weight with 30. Because these seem to be... Okay, one of them is 78 though. Hmm. What can I sell you? That's not a lot of weight though, the tea. Nah. Continue. That's for sure. Thanks. Alright, let's go. There we go. We passed that. Ooh, you you are the, the, the car person. Uh no. Okay, you don't have anything to sell though. And then we need to go over here it was, right? Yes, they were over here. I think the 
caravan leader person. And then we need to get another pass, I suppose. Uh, chief of a young man in his early 20s nods to you and hides a deck of cards. Hi, what are you doing here? Uh, not much, just chatting to false. Let's talk. I can't always be playing with my cards after all. Why not have a chat? How have I not met you before? Wh what's your name? Uh, actually, my mom and dad called me Baruk, but local guys call me Borka. They will post anything that's unconventional. What's your name? Uh, it's simple. I'm F uh, FG. Likewise, Borja. Now, this is what I'd like to ask you. What's this place? Pentagon. Back in the days, my guys and I used to be pirates here. I meant we used to collect toll at the customs. Yeah. <coughs> and now we milk these fat cats quite officially. Only before they used to be afraid of us, and now they don't even look at us. They treat us like their servants. I see. What do you do here? I lost my family early in life. I joined River Pirates as an errand boy and become part of their gang. They started taking me on their raids, and then Paragon turned into what it is now. From pirates, we turned into a militarized mafia protection for the traders. When everything li uh, is calm, I'm living a, cushy li uh, a cushy cushy life. All right. Fresh rumors? I've heard that the cook in the tent city is really talkative. I'll keep that in mind. All right. Time to change the subject. I see you like to play cards. Well, it depends. I'm not much of a gambler, but I do love card tricks. Could you show me one? Yeah, now we're talking. I love performing in front of an audience. Go on, choose a card. Pick a random card. You take a look at your card as discreetly as possible. The card you've picked is the Nine of Spades. Awesome, have you chosen it? Now put it back in the deck. Awesome, now take the deck and shuffle it. Shuffle the deck. You return the thoroughly shuffled deck in the hands of the young magician. He spreads it like a fan once again, carefully examines it, and finally pulls out the Queen of Spades. Is this your card? Uh, haha. -ha. Shall I tell you the truth? Oh, how could this happen? Gosh, all the stars indicate that this is your card. The young and uh, man exhibits deep distress. Wait, hold on. Was it, uh, our, what, uh, has our queen under her skirt? Hmm. This is the nine of spades. <laughs> wow, this is my card. I'll be damned. What are you, a demon? Nah, no demonology involved. Just honest trickery. Uh, as you say, I've t taken a look at a magic trick. All right. Barter with me. Ooh, you've got a stimulant. I will buy your stimulant. Thank you very much. And I will give you... Uh, you can also give me a cracker. Uh, if I give you one of these... That's not enough. God damn it. Um, I'm trying to get rid of stuff, not acquire more things. If I give you three of these... That's not even enough. Uh, that's vodka. I should keep that... Mm, I'm almost really close to be able to use that. Why is... Oh, I can give you one of these. Yeah, now we're talking. Look at that. Look at that. Wait. Have a tea. Would you like a beetroot? <laughs> and what else can I sell to you? I could just give him some money. Because uh, I don't have anything that's really seven rubles worth except obviously for seven rubles so we'll do that trade close goodbye <laughs> all right you there i've talked to you a serious disappointed looking man is peering at the window frame as he tightens his knuckles he turns around quickly looks at you and pouts what what do you want what do you look at uh near that window you didn't really impress this tough guy. He doesn't even answer your questions. Maybe we could talk. The man frowns and places his arms across his chest. I'm not interested in talking. Uh, go away. Um, moonshine. Oh, my. Bye. How have I not talked to these people before? Weird. The head guard's guard, you notice how ridiculous his duty sounds, quickly throws a glance your way. Seems like his eye want to tell, uh, eyes wants uh, to tell you something, despite the man's serious and no-nonsense pose. Uh, like I said... Without a reason, I want you to see the chief. Listen, I have a message for him. Really now, what is it? Uh, I'm, uh, it's, I'm from Frodo Maximovich. It's about Paragon politics. The guard crosses his arms and lowers his head. Interesting that. Well, in that case, you should get inside, but be careful. Simply, our head guard is a real jackass. Thanks for the advice. Bye. All right, inside we go. Hello. Can I now close? Okay. Okay, we, we close the door immediately. That's good. So I didn't have to. You come into the room... And suddenly hear a telltale click. When you turn around, you see a mustached man in a cap who g aims a gun at you. Hello, hello, and who might you be? Why are you here? Speak up, and I might as well shoot. The man drags his gun forward and closes one eye as if to take a better aim at you. Uh, calm down, dude. I'm here with some important stuff. Success! Yay! The man looks at you for a long while and finally lowers his gun. What sort of stuff? 
uh, gone out with the lady. Fyodor Maximovich has sent me to deal with you. Siplovsky twirls his mustache and sits back in, back in his chair. The old devil, haha. Always wanting to share the, his stupid opinions on things. Wants to return to the glories of his youth, probably. Fucking activist. The head of the guard looks at you with a sly grin. Looking almost like Lenin at one point. Listen, how about a counter proposal? Hmm, how would you like that? Mmm... I'm here for a simple reason. Hold on. Simplicity is not always virtuous. I have a far better proposal for you. Instead of being so hasty, better listen to what I have to say and then make the final decision. Okay, so it is how. Head merchant lawyer Abrama fucking pisses me off for, uh, for a long time now. First he doesn't like this. After that he doesn't like something else. A scandalous bloke. He needs to be, how should I put it lightly, murdered. And since you're a maximum real bitch about it, we will not uh, need him to offer. Uh, we need to offer him as well. Mark my words. The old man deserves a rest of a permanent variety. Uh, I'll pay for those two billy goats more than anyone else ever offered you for such a job. Abramov is greedy. Maximovich is a bum. Only I am where the true money is at. How about it? Uh, check it yourself as you wish. The traitor is already dead. Hey, that was fast. I won't pay you now since I need to check your honesty first. But we're not, uh, when you set Maximovich on his way, we might, have, we might just have a chat about the money. Let's talk about Maximovich's offer. I'm not talking about anything. In the army, we have it simple. There's an order and you better obey. Uh, attention. The head guard waves his hand uh, about in a gesture. You notice some typical prison tattoos on his arm. Uh, a setting sun and the words thug life. <laughs> uh, you have to scout in every aspect of your life. Sure, some sense, man. Disagree with me and lose your fingers. You have discord in every aspect of your life? Show some sense, man? Failure. Sense. I don't know anything of the sort. You're not persuading me, baby girl. Go and think of a better way to make me change my mind. Try to dispose of the man without alerting the guard. You quietly jump towards the table to shorten the distance between you two. You managed to do it, and now you are standing face to face with your opponent. With, with a quick attack, you punch the pistol out of the man's hand and start fighting him. Try to tackle the head guard. <sighs> oh god, I took damage. You fight Zaplowski for a few seconds, but he isn't ready to give up easily. He headbutts you in the chest area and pushes you on his table. The papers and documents all fly around the room. Uh, attention. Look for some kind of weapon. Attention? Success! Sweet! You quickly notice something that looks like a heavy paperweight. Grab it and smash it into the man's skull. With a sigh, uh, he falls down. As you jump from the table, you find yourself located right above the lying man. Knife him up! A few hits to his liver and kidneys are enough to calm the man down permanently. Get up! Ahem. <clears throat> oh god. Where did you even- Oh god, you fell through the wall, dude! Oh, that's not very healthy. Oh god, he fell through the actual wall. Ooh, a ma <gasps> an actual Makarov pistol that's not freaking rusty? Are you kidding me? <gasps> I got a better pistol! Sorry. Uh, so this one does 5 to 12 instead of this one 4 to 7. Okay, unload. Load that one. <gasps> this is exciting. I mean, we've got the, the TT pistol later on as well, which is actually not that much better. But now I can sell the rusty Makarovs if I want to. Oh, that makes me so excited. Where are my 9mm though? I mean, I could just close it. Go here. And... Oh, it's already loaded. Never mind. I don't even have to load it. Sweet. Thank you, Mr. Guard. Ooh. Um, It's locked. I broke it. Oh, God. Triple cologne, because it contains three main ingredients. Bergamot, lemon, and uh, neroli oil. This perfume is called the triple. Many a man in the USSR smelled of this unforgettable bouquet. Oh, crap. I'm I'm encumbered now. All right. We'll have to drop some stuff. Oh, my God. Yeah, we'll have to drop a whole bunch of things. We'll do that. Oh, oh my. Oh, God. <gasps> That's a lot of ammo. Holy shit. And now we... we <laughs> Super, super encumbered. Oh, locked. Okay, unlock. You failed to break the lock. You broke the lock. Cucumber brine and some glasses. I'll take the cucumber brine. Close. Okay, so we'll have to drop some stuff. Because holy, holy hand grenade, we are super, 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 super um, uh, encumbered. Pre-war port wine. Drop. Done. Drop. Done. Okay, we are th how are we at 131? I, d I have no idea. Also, we need to, like, eat. I think. I think we're probably... No, we're only slightly hungry. Interesting. But we need to heal up because we're really hurt. So where's our healing powder? 
Because before I go out there, I want to be... I'm going to drop a whole bunch of this. Uh, God. Drop. There we go. That's way too much. Oh, God. We've got 25 wires. We don't need 25 wires. As much as I would like to take everything with me. Mm-mm. Mm -mm, not gonna happen. Uh, let's make some corn meat. Craft, craft, and craft. There we are. Uh, get rid of the salt, so that should help a little bit. Got cucumber brine is really heavy, so we're just gonna drop it. There we go. Okay. <sighs> now we are not super encumbered anymore. Woohoo! That's exciting. Where's the freaking healing powder? I don't know. Uh, I get to do, use the salt of fish. And uh, there's the healing powder. Minus one attention for five minutes, though. I have a lot of vodka on me. And canteen, so as well. Uh, three to seven. Now we need a we need a heal up. Use forty six still. We're still low. That's ridiculous. All right. Um. Meat and meat and then we need to take drink some water there we go oh my god the water that we have weighs 15 kilograms jesus oh god okay we're still not full though bloody hell 55 there we go 57 and then another bottle of water okay we're 105 now good 105 means i can actually pick up some stuff if i wanted to uh, now I took the cucumber brine though. I don't want to drop the, take the cucumber brine because the cucumber brine is really heavy. Okay, so what we're going to do in here is a heart save right now <laughs> because I don't trust them not to go absolutely bonkers when I go outside. Uh, <clears throat> At the exit from the room of the head guard, you are stopped by a subordinate. Hey now, what was all that noise about? Uh, what are you talking about? What noise? A sly grin spreads on the man's face. Nothing, nothing. Go through. I didn't have any love for sleeping myself. I see how it is. Gotcha. All right, bye. Well, that was not too bad then. Okay, uh, to the... Where was the thingy over here? Because I haven't actually... I don't actually have another pass, so I need to buy another pass to get into the city. So we can talk to Maximovich. I hope we backed the right person in here. I didn't like both of those. Maximovich seemed like the friendliest of the bunch, but I don't know. That, you know, stuff like that can usually be rather deceiving, so we'll see about that. We'll see about that. Uh, I would like to buy a pass to the tent city. Give me one ticket. Thank you. Um, just when I need it now, I have to go. I'm not gonna buy like a whole bunch of them, because hopefully stuff will change. Uh, let's go. And, uh, yeah. God, we'll have to save up so much money to buy a car eventually. Oh my god, it's gonna be insane. But I really want a car. Because we're gonna be able to uh, move m much more quickly. The guard stops you, here's the ticket, let me through. Thank you very much, and off to the person is where we go. Oh, stay away and look at my wares. Do you have new stuff yet? Gunnar? Let's see. Uh, no. <laughs> you have, like, no money. Uh, I'm just passing through here. Just to tell Maximovich about the justice I served. Because that's pretty much what we did. Alright, you there. They're both dead. <laughs> um, Fyodor Maximovich looks at the door with a bored expression. But when he sees you enter, a transformation goes through his body. His back straightens up uh, straightens up, and his eyes, a fire starts burning. He puts his book away. Happy to see you. About the political bickering. Uh, he gets closer to you. He looks tense, unsure, and full of hope at the same time. Do tell. Couldn't talk some sense into them pe peacefully. Had to kill both. Mother of God! Well, I knew that was a possibility, but I still hope it wouldn't come to this. It was a mistake. I was mistaken, it seems. Uh, nothing you can do for now. It's not a pretty solution, but still a solution. And you are the one who should be thanked for. Um, uh, I'm flattered. Now to the question of my payment. Yes, right. I don't even know. Um... You disposed of people, which without uh, w without which control and pairing will become a true nightmare. And since that money will become a real problem in the near future, thus have these 500 rubles, three tons of food, and 10 years of 9mm uh, ammo, as well as this Casparamid pack. This is all I can f afford. It's not much, but it can help you out. 
uh, what are you planning to do now? First of all, I'll go and tell people that, that I'm in charge now. I'll hope they'll take the news without arguments. Yep. All right. We leveled up, though. Oh, yeah. I'm so excited. All right. So, can we actually get an ability now? Oh, we can get an ability now. Oh! Okay, so I think... So, we need to get our pistols and SMGs up to 60. Five, because we have that. I think I want to level my throwing weapons for, you know, the cave and stuff. And grenade, grenades, grenades also work with throwing weapons. So I'm, I'm thinking I, I'll just dump this in up to 60 as well, because that could, uh, can help a lot. And then we've got two points to, to, uh, to spare. Don't really have super duper much. We could put one in technology to get us to 35. I don't think that's going to let us pass any. Any tests? No, you know what? We're gonna take that off. I'm gonna put two more in speechcraft. We're still not like anywhere near where we need to be, but yeah. Why are we? St why are we so low? And there we go. Oh, encumbered and drugs fatigue still minus three intellect. Okay. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. We still need to do that, and then we've got the ability tree. So what do we have available at the moment? Plus ten. I'm feeling good. It's just ten HP. Um, good immune system plus resist 10, 10 resist radiation 10% resist to toxins uh, armor of god 20% to resist knockdown 10 to martial arts and 10 to melee weapons burst boy plus 10 to boss firing weapons we don't really use those duelist oh plus 15% to damage if you and your enemy both hold pistols or SMGs true grid is 10 to rifles and shotguns uh, survivor, 10 survival plus 2 to regeneration or 10% discount on everything. To be honest, <laughs> I'm either going to take the discount or the HP, but I think I'm just going to take the HP because we do a lot of melee fighting, so, and people with, with pistols, they really hurt, and, you know, with, with weapons, like with guns and rifles. So I'm just going to take the flat out 10 XP. Uh, 10 XP, uh, 10 HP, yeah. And this is all good as well. I like this. Sweet. Okay. So where did uh, where did he go? I don't know. But we've done this, so that's pretty good. We leveled up. We do need to sell some stuff though. So let's go and see if we can get some stuff sold here. She's got thirty rubles, so we might as we might be able to get some stuff sold. We could sell the pipe rifle. Um, take one corn meat, maybe? Instead? 42, 37. I'm just going to do it like this. Trade. And now we're good to go. So with that, thank you so much, everybody, for watching. I will see you next time. Have a good one, everybody. Bye-bye.